Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid reveal. Back to winning ways after you know drawing against Osasuna. Champions League is back as well. That's nine points from nine. So far, we're halfway there. We've done well. We're perfect. It's all right, but you know it wasn't a good performance. Yes, we had a lot of chances, you could say that's a good performance in itself, but we only just got two goals, we probably had, we had 31 shots, so scoring two from 31 is a bit underwhelming, um, but the result is good, and I did say against Osuna, and even in my previous government reviews that even though I might be looking for both result and performance, if we can't get a good performance, the minimum is a result. That is the bare minimum. As long as we get a result, it's, you know, alright. You know, it's not going to be like, oh, we just have a result. You know, performance doesn't matter. But at least you get the performance. And at least you get a result. I mean, you could say we did have the performance. I mean, we just didn't take our chances did we? I mean, 31 shots and only, only scoring two is really, really bad. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I can't possibly name all 31 attempts, so I have some of the better chances. Um, and yeah, fair play to Shakhtar for sort of making it hard for us a little bit, I guess. You know, they did close us down a little bit more, block a couple more shots. So yeah, fair play then. But let's get into it. Let's go into the goal, shall we? So this goal is a really, really funny goal, I suppose, because Rodrigo, I suppose, plays a one-two with Stefanenko, the Shakhtar captain, and I think he's their centre defensive midfielder, one of the better players. Uh, he sort of pa passes it to him, and then he passes it back to Rodrigo, and Rodrigo just. Slots into the bottom corner. I mean, playing a one two with opposition player is really, really, really funny. So, yeah, one nil after just 13 minutes. Rodrigo yet again on good form right now. But our top goal scorer so far, Vin Julia, had to get on the score sheet, makes it 2 nil. It was really, really good bit of play and movement from Charlie, Benzema, and Valverde before our Rodrigo. Uh, Getting a nice true ball for the Vinicius who gets it past Proving 2 0. We were looking really, really good. We were playing well by then. We were taking our chances. We were scoring goals. It was all in dreamland. It was perfect, man. Um, but I suppose we had to ruin it a little bit and just go down. Yeah, I mean, we had good control of the ball, the possession, good control of it, the possession, we were having it. And we had the position, we were getting it forward, getting chances. But after we had a chance, shut down the ball, pass it to the left hand side to Mikhailichenko, I think. I'm sorry for saying it wrong. Um, who just whips the ball into the box and Zukov uh, with a side kick past Lunin. Of course, Koto with the injury. Uh, I'm not, wait, it's supposed to be a injury, but. Um, just being out in general for a couple of weeks and a couple of match days. Um, so, yeah, Lily coming in, it's good for him. He gets the experience, he gets the game time that he wants. It's good. Overall, I think Lily had a sort of performance. Up on the goal, I can see it. He didn't really face much, to be honest. Um, um, so, would it be a good, good performance? No. Average, probably. High average. Maybe out of 10. 5.56 around there would be my rating for Lunin. You know, didn't really face much to be honest. I mean, we had good control of the game. And this is one of those goals where we concede. We were cruising, we were doing really well. But one of those goals that we just let in, we were doing well and we should be 3 4. Maybe we were 5 0 up, but we just go and concede, which is just poor. The defense was caught lacking. I think they were sleeping at the back. No idea was going on there. You know, we have to work on that. You know, that's a problem. You know, when you start playing against the top teams and 
no disrespect, no disrespect to Shakhtar, they are a good side, um, but you can't compare them to the cities, the Liverpools when they're at the best, the Bayern Munich, and, and teams like those, and even the PSGs, who are really, really top teams, so you can't compare Shakhtar to these teams, right? Not to be disrespectful, but if you have those kind of chances, you don't take them and defensively switch off against the top side, they will pounce on you. They will literally take the chance and they will stop you. So we were lucky, we were fortunate to get that point, those points that we needed. We were fortunate to get the victory, the result, um, but the performance has to be worked on. Let's look at the chances. Alaba, 9 minutes in, long range shot from way out, very optimistic, nowhere near the goal, way over, you know. Um, and then we had ourselves, um, Rod uh, no, Rod Rod Vinicius, getting past two Shaka defenders, got the shot off, blocked away. I mean, I add this in because of that sort of skill, that flair that Vinny has, you know, almost like a Neymar, you know what I'm saying? Getting past just two defenders who are in front of him, and yeah, I mean, he really couldn't get the finish in. You know, it's not as if it was a 1v1 situation where you know, he should probably just go, like, the defender was there, so I'll let him up for this one, because I know there's a chance later on, which I will be, be a bit more annoyed that he should have taken, um, but to be fair, this one um, had the defender blocking him, so yeah, we'll let him get away with it for this one. Um, good chance, though, and a good skill from Billy. Um, and, yeah, um, later on, um, Troy Manning with the long ball for Benzema couldn't quite reach it. Um, the goalkeeper should have really come up for it. Didn't let the ball just go back to Benzema who keeps it in. Um, takes sort of a shot, beaten away by Trubina. Didn't even catch the ball. Beats it to Vinny. Um, Vinny then takes the shot. Um, it was cleared off the line by the defender. And then even after they cleared, uh, there was some good passing around. You know. And then Valverde sends it across uh, for Benzema who volleys it wide. So it tells you that so far, and I'm not even done yet by the way, this is only the 31st minute, okay? But two and a half by now, 31 minutes in, these are the chances that we're having against Shakhtar Donetsk. And if you had those chances on the plate, take it. You know, you might have won in the end, but we could have won 3 1. Maybe we would have considered the goal, so let's give each other the goal because they deserve the goal. Let's give it to them. You know what? They deserve the goal because they scored it. Let's not say, oh, we would have won 5 0 because if we had scored, we wouldn't have scored. Let's not talk about that. But even if the goals we should have taken goes in after they scored, 3 1, maybe even 4 1, maybe more. That's what we're looking for. 2 1 after having 31 shots and so many opportunities that I'm not even done yet. It's disappointing and a poor performance, poor showing. We need to take these chances, man. Like I said, play against a team like Manchester City, who are on top form right now, or even Bayern Munich, who are on top form right now in Europe and Premier League. I mean, Manchester City are doing really well in the Premier League. But playing against these top teams, you're basically screwed, right? Um, and then. Benzema plays a 1-2 with Vinny Jr. and the shot was saved by Trubin. Um, anything else? Uh, yep, Kava with a cross to the back post for Alaba, um, who played it back in to Benzema, who didn't really get a good contact with the ball, um, and it was saved by uh, the goalkeeper Trubin again. So this goalkeeper had a lot to do in that. Um, 38 minutes in now, I mean, the amount of chances we have after the less than half time is insane. Uh, but what is going to the Rodrigo, who lays it off the Vinny who's on his left. Vinny curls it just wide. Now this is the chance where I really, really have to say, I'm sorry Vinny, I can't really protect you or defend you for that. Because that is really a chance you should take. You're in a situation where you're going to just curl it in into the bottom corner, but you curl it wide. That is so disappointing. That should be... Before they have scored 3 0, but that should be having the third goal, regardless, right? That's so disappointing, 38 minutes in. And right after this chance, of course, was Shaka the goal. Um, and now we're into the second half. Mandy's cross, finding Billy, who heads it, flicks it, 
just white, not, not a good chance at all. Uh, not, not a good header, way white. Didn't even get a good contact with the header. No way else to put head in. Um, and in the last two chances, I reduced a little bit to the 82nd and 87th minute. But for they did they get the best of touches? Manages to you know still find Vinny with the pass before the, the defender clears it. Um, and the shot, weak shot, straight to me again. You know, weak shot. I'm 50-50 of this one. Maybe could have done better, but I feel like maybe couldn't as well. And then lastly, Vinicius shot blocked by a shackled defender. Goes to Benzema, curls it wide. That is a chance that Benzema has to take this time out. Again, it's like Vinicius curl attempt. It's a curl attempt. Okay, it's not just left foot, but you really have to be taking those chances, man. Curls it just wide on his left foot into the bottom left. Just why, and that should have been three one. Overall, I said it before, and I'll say it again. You know, I'm not here to complain about this and that. Against Osasuna, I said, look, for me, if we are not performing well, the the thing I want at least, the minimum, is the result. We got a result today, but we have to be on the result. You know, we gotta go back there and say, look, every other trip we shouldn't all. Every cup loses, right? Every cup draws and loses. But we should be building on result and performance. Not just result, or not just performance. Not just grinding out a good performance, a good result to get a 1 or 2 or win, or a 2 and win where we didn't play that well, or we didn't play that well, but we didn't take our chances, right? Or a performance where we did really, really well, didn't take our chances as well, lose the game. That's even worse. What we should be is having a good performance and a good result. And then you can't expect that every game, right? But we so far, tell me one game that we have a good performance in result. You could say sort of ego, a 4 1 win, you know, it's a good performance, I think it was at least. But apart from that, anything else? We want Amobia 2 1, that's not a good result, though, is it? I mean, it's, is that a good performance? We, were, we went 1 0 down and then we came back. No, Espanyol, we were 1 0 down as well. We came back, we scored late again. Betis, 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, again now a win. So these are games where we are either going down and then winning it later on, or we are going one nil up, not taking our chances, let them get a goal or two, and we have to fight back and try to get a 1-2 and a win, which is just poor. These are not good performances, so maybe Sardamigo is a good performance, Maybe Celtic was a really, really good performance. You know, I really enjoyed the Celtic game. Leipzig, we left it quite late as well. So that's not really a good performance either, a good result. And I'm not here to rant about everything, right? But I feel that we can work on it. And the target, the goal for the club, for the manager, for the team, for the trainer, for whoever is in charge of all of these, is to work on the performance on the field. Get Vinny, Benzema, Rodrigo, Valverde, whoever who is supposed to go and do the attacking drills, the attacking training to focus and you know work on their finishing. Play a 3v3 game where Vinny, Benz and let's say Rodrigo play against Rudiger, Alaba and Mandy for example, whoever at the back. Play a 3v3 game, like a real life scenario because Vinny really had to take the chances, had to take the chance. That chance where he could it just white was a perfect chance to make it 3 0 or 3 1. Wasted. Benzema's curl attack. Oh, okay, so it's weaker too. Again, check this in the target. These are chances we should be working on. These are chances that we should be scoring. So my problem with this is the performance. Result today, good. Get the three points, get a win. But we have to look at the performance. Overall, I'm happy because we got the victory. You know, against the Suna, I was not happy because we didn't have the performance and we drew. At least we didn't get the performance for people one, right? But we can't just let it go and say, look, who cares about the performance? Result matters most. We can't just say that. We can't just say that. Just because we're getting by every game, we can't just say, screw the performance, only the result. Because one day, and I have that feeling, like last season, you'll come back to bite us. If we play in a round of 16, quarterfinals, semifinals, or even a final, 
against the City, Bayern, PSG, whoever, the top side in Europe, I'm telling you, we are going to get smashed so badly because going forward we're not taking our chances. Defensively, sometimes we switch off and we don't defend and that goal from Zukov uh, really, really showed it, you know. We were in control of the game. Why did we suddenly go and concede? You know, for the first 38 minutes, Shakhtar didn't have anywhere near the amount of the possession as we had. Didn't have anywhere near the chances that we had. But boom! Play off to the left to their wing back, their full back, make a cross in. The defense was sleeping, a side kick from Zukov, beats Lunin, go. That's how easy it is, you know? Boom! That's it. Transition. The game changed. 2 1. They release the deficit, they go for another one. And a team like City, with Erling Haaland up front, with quality on the team, with Bronner as the attacking me, great defense. Good team, good manager. You think they're gonna be wasteful, you know? Give them three chances and they'll score three goals. That is how it is. So for me, that is my problem. I'm not ranting and complaining because for no reason. And I'm not saying I don't like and I complain because of the performance of, of, of the, for the result. I am complaining because of the performance. Result, yes, we can be happy. The fans, we can celebrate. We can go and say, look, as long as we win, I'm fine. But we can't run away and not admit that the fact that the performance and the amount of chances that we had that we didn't take and the fact that we switched out of the bag was not good. So this is my opinion. You can have a different opinion, whether you're a Roman or not. Um, this is just an opinion thing. Let me know yours down in the comment below. Um, but next up, we will have Hetafe. I believe it's away. And then Shakhtar away as well. And then El Clasico at home. So two more games for the big game against Barcelona. Can't wait. Um, in terms of injury news, Sabayos out for three to four weeks with an injury. Courtois will not play against Hetafe. Will not play against Shakhtar. Most probably will be, hopefully, um, back by Barcelona, so we'll look out for that as well. Hopefully he will, crucial player. Um, like I said earlier on, it's nice for Luna to get a few games, a good run out with the team, but I'm not too sure if he's fully ready to take the number one goal just yet. And I don't think he will, I think Courtois will be here for a few more seasons. He's just occasionally, if there's an injury to Courtois or a resting, Luna can come in and step up. So yeah, good for him, get some game time, fire it. But we need our main goalie back. And whether he'll be fit enough to come back and start against Barcelona, who knows? So, yeah, a lot to talk about. But that'll be it for today's review. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's review. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.